This is about defending democracy. This is no longer Democrats versus Republicans. What do you want your kids to believe in? There must be give and take. This is White Flag with Joe Walsh. As a Republican, if you stand up in the public square and say that Donald Trump is unfit, you risk ending your career as a Republican. As a Republican, if you stand up and publicly oppose Donald Trump, you are in all likelihood done politically as a Republican. I know that. I lived through that. Others have lived through that. Chris Christie yesterday ended his campaign. And he stood up in the public square again yesterday, last night, and said, Donald Trump is unfit to be president. Now I'm going to do everything I can to make sure Donald Trump does not sit in that White House again. Now you know that I've, I've got problems with Chris Christie, big problems with Chris Christie, because I think a lot of most of what he's doing, has been doing this past year, is disingenuous bullshit because Chris Christie is the one, and he said it again last night, who has known Donald Trump better than anyone for the past 22 years. Nobody knows Trump like I've known Trump, Christie said again last night. Well, if that's true, and Christie, who now says Trump is unfit, if that's true, that Christie has always known Donald Trump so well for 22 years, and then he... I guess has always known that Donald Trump is unfit. Well, then why the hell did he support Trump in 16 and support Trump in 2020? I'm not going to revisit that. I've got problems with Chris Christie, but I'm glad that he's done what he's done. I'm glad that he launched a campaign and attacked and went after Donald Trump and became a never Trumper. I'm glad that he got out of that campaign, that he ended his campaign yesterday, because I think We should all do all we can to try to stop Donald Trump at every opportunity. Try to stop him in the primary and then try to stop him in the general. Chris Christie getting out of the race helps that. Much of his support will go to Nikki Haley. Nikki Haley has a teeny weeny weeny bit of a shot to win. She has a shot to win New Hampshire. This will help. By the way, it would have been a hell of a lot better if Christie got out and endorsed Nikki Haley. That would help a lot more. It would have been a hell of a lot better if Chris, Chris Christie got out and wasn't caught on a hot mic before he announced he's getting out and basically said, that Nikki Haley has no shot and she's going to get smoked. Again, there's that, there's the disingenuous Chris Christie. But this is the point I want to make. Chris Christie again said last night that Trump is unfit and that he can't be president. Good, fine, thank you, Chris Christie. But now you need to do If you truly believe that, and if you really mean that, that Trump is unfit and he can't be president, then you have to see that all the way through. You have to do what I've done and people like me have done. You have to publicly support the only person who can keep Donald Trump from the White House. And that's Joe Biden. And if Chris Christie can't do that, well, then all this stuff he's been saying about 
Trump is unfit and he can't be in the White House doesn't mean shit. Then it's all just been self-serving crap. Chris Christie. Now, let's be clear. In my mind, what Chris Christie should do right now is endorse, help coalesce around one alternative to Trump. Trump is probably going to win the primary. I think he was always going to win the primary, but it's not 100% certainty yet. Nikki Haley has a tiny, tiny chance. Christie should get behind anyone who's got a chance to beat Trump in the primary if Christie truly wants to stop Trump. But then, but then, and this is, this is the ultimate test for all of us never Trumpers. Assuming it is Trump versus Biden in November, Trump versus Biden in the general election, then Chris Christie must publicly support the only person who can stop Donald Trump, and that would be Joe Biden. If it's Trump Biden, Christie has to publicly support Biden. Christie's on record right now is saying he wouldn't vote for either one. He wouldn't vote for Trump or he wouldn't vote for Biden. That's bullshit. That helps Trump. And, and, and again, I, I, I've said the same thing to Liz Cheney, Adam Kinzinger, any of these good principled never Trumpers. If you say out of one side of your mouth that Donald Trump is unfit and he must never, ever, 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 ever be in the White House again, if you say that and you believe that and you believe he's an existential threat to our democracy, to the rule of law, then you must, in November, support the only person who can beat Trump. And that's Joe Biden. If you can't do that, as someone who believes Trump's an existential threat to our democracy, if you can't support the only person who can beat Trump in November, then I don't think you truly believe Trump is unfit. And this will be the test for Chris Christie. This is the test for all of us Republican and former Republican never Trumpers. I did it in 2020. I went all in on Biden and did all I could to help him get reelected. I said I'd support whoever the Democratic nominee is. I'll do the same again, and it will be Biden. Let's hope Christie does that. I think Liz Cheney is there. Liz Cheney is already publicly hinting that she'll support Biden. I know my friend Adam Kinzinger has begun to mention it. I believe Kinzinger will publicly support Biden. Christie's always been about Christie. This will be his test. Let's hope he comes through. Joe Walsh, white flag. Thanks for listening. Joe Walsh, white flag at gmail.com. That's one word. Joe Walsh, white flag at gmail.com. Be brave. Thank you for listening. Remember to listen, share, and follow White Flag with Joe Walsh on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and everywhere great podcasts are found. And be sure to leave a five-star review. This has been White Flag with Joe Walsh.